difference in the face and body. People taking Ingressa can stay on their current dose of most mental health meds. Don't take Ingressa if you're allergic to any of its ingredients. Ingressa may cause serious side effects, including sleepiness. Don't drive, operate heavy machinery, or do other dangerous activities until you know how Ingressa affects you. Other serious side effects include potential heart rhythm problems and abnormal movements. Shift the focus more on you. Ask your doctor about Ingressa. It's simple. One pill, once daily. Number one prescribed for TD. Learn how you can pay as little as zero dollars at ingressa.com. Not touching is still touching protection. Adding Lysol laundry sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Detergent alone can't. Lysol, what it takes to protect. Real love is having the same obsessions. Introducing your fur babies to each other. Sharing the best parts of your lives. E-Harmony, here for real love. Feeling sluggish or weighed down? It could be a sign that your digestive system isn't working at its best. Taking Metamucil every day can help. Metamucil psyllium fiber gels to trap and remove the waste that weighs you down. It also helps lower cholesterol and slow sugar absorption to promote healthy blood sugar levels. So you can feel lighter and more energetic. Metamucil, support your daily digestive health. And try Metamucil Fiber Friends. A great tasting and easy way to start your day. Find everything you need to get your projects done right. Right now at Metamucil. Skill delivers serious power performance with the PowerCore 20 20 volt power system. It delivers the convenience and portability of cordless battery operation while providing advanced power and torque for the bigger jobs. Stop in and check out our wide in stock selection of skill 20 <coughs> 
physically abusive toward her. So one by one, Cassie's friends repeated stories Cassie told them about her fear of Brad. There would be times where he, she felt like she was following her. Cassie was... And then Cassie's mom told the jury what she saw when hey. Brad was with Cassie. I'm almost to the 4,000 gems. I'm going to buy the same thing that you did. Or buy a different one. To Frank, control? Darlene wasn't sure. But shortly before she died, said her mom, Cassie confessed that there was another reason, too. He liked to choke her during sex. How did that relate to murder? Remember, the medical examiner was vague about the cause of death. But not this guy. Dr. Michael Hunter, then chief medical examiner in San Francisco. We're seeing bleeding within uh, some of the muscles. He made it crystal clear to the jury that Cassie's killer strangled her. Once you see injuries to the neck, particular hemorrhages, evidence of assault, um, that if you can form an opinion, I have an opinion. But why should the jury decide Brad did that? It was on the academy from January to This is Ed Reynolds, retired Silver City police chief, and also once Brad's police academy instructor, the man who taught him the chokehold. So eerily similar to what Darlene demonstrated. All of which was interesting, said defense attorney Nathan Gonzalez, but did not prove that Brad was the killer. In fact, he told the jury, they arrested the wrong man. It will be clear that other people had access, motive, and ability to complete this crime. But their star witness to drive that point home was none other than retired Grant County Deputy Jose Sanchez. And what he said on the stand... Oh, my. Mr. Farrington, a suspect in your investigation. Not my suspect, no. Now, that was shocking, because Sanchez had told Cassie's parents that Brad was a suspect. He believed there was an altercation or fight, and that he killed her and then took her and put her in the other tomb. He told us that the day after her death. This is Sanchez. This is what Sanchez said. But now, in court, Sanchez told a different story altogether. Which, if the jury believed it, could undermine the prosecution's entire case. I was focused already on Mr. Lee. Mr. Billy Lee. Why did you choose to focus on Mr. Lee? There was just too many discrepancies. Remember, Billy was clear, had a solid alibi. But now the defense was using Sanchez to raise doubt about who the real killer was. There's a lot of smoke here, but fire muddles it up and that i believe was the defense strategy that if you have enough of that then the jury won't see through it the jury retired to consider oh i was nervous i just paced up and down the halls in and out four hours later they were called back into court has the jury reached a verdict can the defendant please rise we find the defendant, Bradley Farrington, guilty of first-degree murder when they announced their verdict. There was a lot of tears, a lot of sighs of relief. One of the deputy attorneys says, thank you for not giving up, thank you for pushing. And I said, how could I? There's my little girl. Brad Farrington was sentenced to life, no parole for at least 30 years. He's filed an appeal. Cassie, you've got a memory now. And so her parents remember their way through their pain to the good in her life. The kids live with Brad's family now. And when we last spoke to Chuck and Darlene, their one hope was to see their grandchildren again. They're all housed to see your talk to them. Anything you'd want to say to them if you could? Tell me love them. That their mama loved them unconditionally. That's all for this edition of Dateline. I'm Natalie Morales. Thank you for watching. Hidden.